Okay, I'm going to try an experiment now. So here's the here's the uh, one program which, uh, when we ran it and looked and plotted the time, uh, the value of i against the time it took to run, uh, we got a straight line. And I'm going to change that a bit. So uh, notice I've called this program three. So I have to change the class um, to three. I call that three to start with. So basically, what I want to do now is um, uh, so here we've got a loop that goes i times. Now, what I'm going to do is I want to put all that thing in a loop. So if I go, if I repeat this line here. and call it K, say not J. So So what's going to happen now? Well, when I is 1, it's going to do something once and then this loop um, it's going to do it once altogether. So when i is 2, the inner loop is going to go around twice, but then we're going to we're going to call it twice. We're going to go around that we're going to do this whole loop twice. So it'll be we'll do something twice for the inner loop, but then we're going to execute this inner loop two times. So the whole thing will will end up doing something four times. Similarly, when i is 3, the inner loop, this this do something here and the inner loop will get executed three times. But this whole line here is also going to get executed three times. So in the end, do something is going to e be executed nine times. Similarly, if i is 4, this loop here, this inner loop here, is going to make do something get executed four times. But this whole line itself is also going to get executed four times because i is 4. So the whole, so this means do something is going to get executed 16 times. So now we should see that uh, the time that this that this thing should t this thing will take in between when we start the clock and read the clock isn't going to be isn't going to be proportional to i, but it's going to be proportional to i squared because it's going to it's going one, uh, four, nine, sixteen, sixty-four, etc. Now, um, five hundred squared is quite a big number, isn't it? What's five hundred squared? So what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm going to make it go around the loop a few less, a few fewer times, just to see. Um, what the numbers look like. Let's make. Oh, let's just make it twenty to see what the numbers look like. So now, um, there's the. Here's our program. So let's compile three dot Java. I've got one error. Uh, it doesn't. Um, I've already used K, so let's make that to Z instead. Z, Z, Z. There we go. Let's try compiling it again. There, now it compiled. So now let's run. And here, what do these numbers look like? Well, it's hard to see from that, but let's try. Let's try and um, let's try and um, plot it. So what do we what, what do we have to do? We have to say we make the thing go to uh, output. Say and then we go to GNU plot and we plot the output sorry this has to be in and now we sort of see we don't have a straight line but we have something that's growing quicker than a straight line so uh, we want to try and fit this curve to a particular uh, function so what we'll do 
um, in later is we'll s we'll analyze this and see if if it is indeed of the form y equals some constant x squared. So that will be in the next video. Thanks very much.